Hey what's up, it's Comic95 The Savior and for this video I want to talk about how there's a disconnect and Japanese guys don't understand Japanese women or foreign women for that matter either. So I thought this was really interesting for myself. I've noticed from dating in Japan both offline as well as online but generally when you talk to guys one of the first questions that they will ask you if he's serious about you is what kind of guy you're looking for so not what you're looking for but what kind of guy because the what you're looking for person is the fuck boy but i'm talking about the guy that really is trying to get to know you but he's like oh like you know what's your type what do you like well that guy you will generally find if you express anything that's seen as American, such as you like a romantic guy or you want to spend a lot of time with your boyfriend, these things generally scare guys away or they'll tell you that they don't have that personality. And I find it really interesting that in Japan, unlike in the US where the guy tries to compromise or be what you want in that sense, it's instead a take it or leave it type thing. And especially from a foreign girl perspective, you get reminded, I've literally had guys say, have you dated a Japanese guy? And sometimes it's out of curiosity because they wonder, is she gonna be okay with my dick being small? Things like that. I'm not even joking, you guys. But in this particular circumstance, it's a matter of them being like, okay, this chick clearly doesn't understand Japanese personalities because Japanese guys are not romantic and we don't have time for, you know, to be seeing you every day. And I totally understand that in one sense, but the problem that I have is it's like, okay, did it ever cross your mind that maybe it's not a Japanese thing and that Japanese girls want this and they're okay with it, but rather they've had to accept it because you put your foot down the side that you're not going to nudge. I really don't like that stubbornness and cockiness that guys have. And to me, that's just a total turnoff and red flag. If you're telling me right from the start that you can't compromise, you can't talk to me throughout the week, you can't make more time to see me, then fine, I guess I don't want to date you then. Because why go through that with you when there are other more internationalized Japanese people that can, first of all, speak English fluently like you can't, and two, <laughs> that are actually kind and caring enough to actually want to make me happy too. I make sacrifices for you. And as a foreign girl, like living here, I've made tons of them, including choosing to live here in a foreign country, something that you probably have never done, couldn't do, and probably wouldn't be able to do so seamlessly how I am. It's one thing for you to say like, oh, you know, I'm not really like this, but I'll try, you know, I want to support you, make you happy. It's another thing for you to just say, well, this is Japan and we don't do that here. Because we most certainly don't do that for you and our country. When we date somebody from another, you know, eth ethnicity, background, you know, another background or whatever, we normally try to satisfy them and make them happy or feel at home by making some changes. We're never going to change everything. Nobody expects you to do that. Of course, you have to follow some cultural norms. For example, as a foreign girl, I've accepted the fact that things like holding hands or kissing in public, etc. is not appropriate. Do I do that with the guys that I have dated? Yeah, of course I have. But I totally understand if the guy doesn't want to do it or feel shy or wants to go to the side or just doesn't do it at all. Like, to be honest, I don't like doing it since I've come to Japan because I feel self-conscious and I feel dirty because I know it's not socially acceptable here. You see people do it every once in a while, but again, it's not okay to do. And with that said, yeah, there's some things that you can compromise on as a foreigner, but your partner, especially as a man, out of respect, the least he can do is do simple things to make you happy. It doesn't take much to send somebody a text message or to plan a second date instead of just seeing her once a week like how you would do with a Japanese girl. But that's not my point about just making you happy. I find it interesting that they're so blind, they don't realize their own women want that too. I've never seen a Japanese girl say, I only want to see my legitimate boyfriend who I'm not cheating on once a week or I only want to see my husband, you know, once a week or whatever type thing. You've told yourself, this is enough to maintain my marriage. This is enough to maintain my relationship. So I'm going to do the bare minimum. And to me, all it says is, okay, so you're just telling me that you're a cheater then. Because I highly doubt you're a cheater and you're a sexist. Because I highly doubt that as a woman, you could tell the same Japanese man or, you know, Japanese man, whether you're a Japanese woman or a foreign woman. As a woman, you could not tell this Japanese man, I only have sex once a month. Or I'm only going to date you once a month. Or when we move in together, I don't want to sleep in the same bed. If you say all of that stuff from the start to this guy, or say that you don't do that because of your culture, your upbringing, your family, or whatever, he's going to either cheat on you or he's going to go talk to the next girl. He's not going to compromise for you. But he expects for you to do that for him. If he says he doesn't like something, doesn't do something or want something, you got to accept it or do it. 
you choose so yeah like that that just really bothers me in a way too and the big part of why it does is that it seems like so many guys like i've never seen a single guy like acknowledge like oh you know maybe i should try not a single guy that i didn't date that is <laughs> well I, i've dated some people but not like where i was in a real relationship with them i don't understand why that's so hard for me to do like i've never seen a single guy acknowledge oh okay maybe this is crazy that she's asking for this but maybe i could do that to make her happy and then it's like even if they do even if they do it for you i don't think it'll ever like make them think click in their brain maybe i should change because if i date a japanese girl next for the people that i'm no longer dating anymore all of my exes i don't think they'd be willing to do that with a japanese girl and i think in their mind they've just told themselves that their women don't like it because they don't like it i don't even think they bother to ask them what they want and from a girl's perspective, I feel like the women here are just too happy to have money from a man. Like, too happy and satisfied. Like, oh, okay, I have a man that's providing for me. I have, you know, a ring on my finger. Um, you know, not a Christmas cake anymore, whatever type thing. I have my baby. I don't care anymore. And I just can never be that girl. I totally understand why somebody would go for that. But I think it's really sad that these guys think that their women don't want these things when really they do and same thing goes for sex because honestly i've heard it from both sides i've heard japanese girls say that they don't think they could date a foreign guy because they think that we just want to have sex and fuck 24 7 and i've also heard from men um i've also heard from well, not not foreign men i've also heard from japanese men where they think they can't keep up with a foreign girl and so I think to myself, like, does it ever cross your mind that maybe you can do that if you love your partner to make them happy? And not just that, it's kind of stupid because it's like you've assumed and put your own race in a box. You're assuming that there's no girl in Japan that you're going to date that's going to want to have sex more than once a month, basically. You might be dating a girl that wants to fuck like crazy, but you've told yourself that's only a foreign woman thing. So I'm going to date this girl. We're going to get married. And because she's Japanese like me, yeah, I already know she's okay with sex once a month. Twice a month at best, maybe three times, okay. So yeah, in conclusion, I just feel really sorry for Japanese girls there. Like, I, I get it in their mind. I feel like a lot of them feel like they win in the end because your man is at work all day. You can cheat on him, do whatever you want to do. Under the skies of raising the kids, you went out to go pick them up from school or, you know, you're taking English lessons with that cute white guy that you're really fucking on the side, so... I know girls do their own thing and they're happy to have their money and their husbands are probably cheating on them too. But it's like, why set yourself up for a horrible marriage like that? So I get it, it's their culture, it's what they've always known, but I just find it so interesting that the men here are so chauvinistic, so sexist, so full of themselves and so selfish that it doesn't cross their mind that maybe just because it's always been this way or I know that I can do things this way doesn't mean it's the best way. And they don't even realize the double standard because once again you could never tell a japanese guy what you're not going to do because if you say that you're not going to do that he'll just find somebody that will do that so even if he does marry you or you push out his baby he's just gonna cheat on you you can't do that though if you cheat on him he's through with the relationship but you have to be accepting of him you know cheating on you <laughs> and you also have to be accepting of him deciding you know what he's interested in and what he's not Maybe he really doesn't have a high sex drive. Okay, well, you have to just match it. But you can't do that with him. You don't match his drive, he's going to go cheat on you or he's going to leave you. You don't do what he wants to do, he'll just replace you, basically. So I just find that interesting. And beyond talking about marriage, just talking about regular dating, I just find it so interesting that there goes to excuses. This is Japan. I'm Japanese. This is how we do things. Okay, well, by being stupid like that, especially if you're an unattractive man, which I've had men that are older than me and men that are also unattractive, so both. And it's like, do you see yourself, both your age, your income, and the fact that you're older and not attractive, basically, <laughs> again, you should be doing anything you can to satisfy girls. And not just with your mouth and wallet. <laughs> This is easy. Someone asking to have more time to see you and be with you is super simple. If your excuse is, oh, I'm Japanese or oh, my job, you're just being lazy. Because if you wanted to, you can, could, and would. And then it's guys like this that'll cry about how they can't find anyone when they're in their 40s or late 30s. And it's like, you missed out on a lot of girls because you decided that I come first and everything. And a lot of girls are used to it and willing to put up with it. But it's like, 
Why would I settle for you who has no time for me, who can't compromise, when I can find another Japanese guy who will and does do that? So what you're asking for isn't ridiculous as a girl. It's not that, that there's no Japanese guy that'll do it. But I will most certainly say that the majority of guys will not and do not. They they literally like go by that um, saying that women should be seen and not heard. It's like guys see you when they want to see you. Like it's not the other way around. Like when he wants to see you, chop, chop, get to it, drop them panties. But you want to just hang out, talk, cuddle, or maybe even to have sex? He got to be in the mood for it. So it's like, who would want to be in a relationship like that? I mean, if that's not bad enough, guys go around playing girls and breaking hearts before they're 30. And then once they turn 30, then they're ready to settle down. And do they settle down with a girl their age? Nope, they chase after people like me, younger women. <laughs> so, and soon I won't be a young girl anymore. I'll also be older too. So I, I just, I hate that and it really sucks. And I find it to be, I know it's a thing worldwide, but I definitely find it to be more prevalent in Asia and specifically in Japan. I find that guys here are significantly less serious. So when they're younger, like I don't even bother. I don't date guys that are under the age of 30 anymore. You have to at least be 30 years old. And really, I prefer that you're at least 33 and up. So if you're dating a guy that's under the age of 30 in Japan, you're just asking for casual sex basically because he's not going to be serious. And even for the girls that have gotten married, I've said this before, I have friends and I've also had to cut off friends that are serial cheaters with wives, European wives, might I add, white girls. So yeah, it's messed up. And these are all guys that got married under the age of 30, specifically, you know, my age, people that are you know, 24, 25, 26 years old that have been married for years. They got married two, three years ago and they're just going out cheating on their girl every week. And their girls have no idea. And in their mind, they're like, oh, I got my ring. I'm married. I have my spouse visa. And it's like, I don't care about a spouse visa. I'm just going to get cheated on and embarrassed behind my back. So whatever. That's their life, not mine. So that's it. Just in conclusion of this video, I just find it interesting that guys seem to not know their own women. They think that the idea of wanting to see your boyfriend on a weekly basis or several times a week or wanting, you know, to be texted and good morning texts, etc. They think it's just a foreign woman thing. Whereas it's like, no, Japanese girls like it too. Why do you think when you watch anime and TV shows and listen to music, it's all these love songs about chasing after guys and this, that, and the other. And it's like, when people make art, whether it's a drawing, a painting, a TV show, a movie, music, it comes from their brain. It comes from their heart. It's their thoughts and their feelings. They're telling you what they want. It's universal. They want love. They want attention. They want to see. They want to know that they're on your mind. And that is not seeing a girl once a week. Especially when seeing them once a week is going to be at your house pulling down her pants. <laughs> or shall I say up her dress since a lot of girls wear dresses here. But you get my point. I just find it interesting that they're just so tone, not, not even tone deaf, that's not the right word to use. They're so lost. They don't even know their own women. They're so full of it up here in their head. They think they understand their own women. And it's like, you no, know, you understand Japanese men. You've been taught that you're in control. You're the dominant one. You set the rules. You make the boundaries. That's what you've been taught and told, which there's some truth to those things. But at the same time, it's like, this is not a foreign woman versus, you know, Japanese woman thing. All women want guys that have money and a good job. All women want a guy that's going to see them several times. Everybody needs personal space. But if a girl can choose, unless she's cheating on you and playing the same game, no girl can honestly say they only want to see their boyfriend one time a week. No woman. If you say yes to that, you cheating on that That's all I got to say to that. You lying. You got another boyfriend. You got some side dude. You doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. Because if time is not an issue, if work is not an issue, you do not just want to see him once a week. Y'all got to go on a date 10 times a week. You know, money becomes an issue. But I mean, just to see. You all can't go for a walk, can't go to the park unless it's Sunday at 2 o'clock exactly. Like, who wants, why would a girl want to be a part of your little schedule and just, you know, be a little puzzle piece that goes in the corner somewhere? In the corner somewhere. Why would I want to be that when I can be the entire trophy, you know, prize possession on this guy's shelf or something? It's stupid. And for some reason, they've told themselves, this is Japanese girls. Japanese girls don't like sex. Japanese girls don't want to see their boyfriend often. Japanese girls don't want to talk often. And of course, you can find plenty of women who are like that, who don't like sex, don't want to talk often, 
don't want to see you often. But I can assure you that that same girl that doesn't do all of those things, she'll do it for the right guy. She just ain't doing it for you. She just don't want you. She find that Toma P looking guy. She find that Chris Hemsworth. She going to do whatever they want. She going to be busting it open for them. She just not doing it for you. <laughs> so I'm done. All I'm saying is that just really drives me crazy. It's like, okay, so you ask me what my type was. You ask me what I like. I tell you that, oh, I like a guy that, you know, this, that, and the other. And then you're like, oh, you dated a Japanese guy before? Well, yeah, Japanese guys don't do this or I don't do that or I don't have time for that. I'm busy with work. I'm busy with whatever. Okay, well, then I guess you're too busy for sex too. Bye. <laughs> so I'm done. Let me know what you think in the comments. What's your opinion? Have you noticed that that's kind of the same reaction that you get where it's like guys are just stuck in their ways, like, you know, can't teach an old dog new tricks basically and where they want you to revolve around them and their wants and their needs and where their excuse is, oh, well, Japanese guys or this is Japan basically to everything you ask for. Has that been your experience? Have you noticed that guys seem to assume that this is what Japanese girls are like, like across the board and that there's no exceptions to that rule? So. And like I said, I mean, don't get me wrong, I know girls from any culture have varying sex drives, varying wants for what they expect in their relationship, but I do not believe that there's something wrong with Asian people and specifically Japanese people where they just don't like sex. It's rather culture has told them that they don't and has forced them into prioritizing work because this country literally runs off of the sex industry. It runs off of porn. It runs off of the idea of being with young and even underaged girls. Like there, there's so much stuff that sells here based around sex, like even more so than the US. So I don't believe that men or women aren't interested in it, but rather they've been taught that you need to prioritize being a mother and raising kids and cleaning your house and making bentos for your husband and children. And as a man, you need to prioritize making money over, you know, having fun, having sex, dating, etc. So that's it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have anything to add, please leave it in the comments. Otherwise, as always, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at comic95. And you can add me on Snapchat at comic the savior. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll watch another video.